He's a comedian. <laughs> hey guys, what's up, New York? How we doing? It's good to be here. Just a heads up: if your seat is black, you might get wet. Just a little heads up. I don't know what's going to happen. My first time doing comedy in New York. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. It also coincidentally be the last time I ever do comedy in New York. So it's really up to you guys. Like I said earlier, I'm from Sacramento. Anyone been there? For those of you who haven't, it's great. You gotta check it out. We got a river. <laughs> New York's great, though. I love it. I love it here. It's, it's wonderful. It's different from Northern California. Northern California is pretty cool. Got a lot of diversity of serial killers. There's like so many. Like, it's so different. Some of them are clowns, some of them are pedophiles. You got everything. It's wonderful. In fact, they just got the Golden State Killer. I don't know if you guys hear about that. Yeah, he was in Sacramento. Pretty wild. He's been active since the 70s. The craziest part, though, when I saw that in the news, because it freaked me out, because I was just like, Dad? Uh. <laughs> this explains a lot. Not like the anger, like I always knew about that, but just like the smell coming from the basement. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to keep up with current events. This is my first time leaving the house, so I'm like trying to keep up to date with stuff. Uh, so I just spit some current events out. Uh, did you guys hear about that girl from Smallville? Yeah. Yeah? For those of you who don't know, Smallville is a really stupid show about Superman when he was in high school. Because we were all curious, right? A bunch of writers were just in a room like, I wonder what this puberty was like. But, um, there's this girl who's on that show who just got arrested for being a leader in this alleged sex cult. Yeah, that's pretty wild. They would, she would lure these women in and they would all have sex with this one guy. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. They got his initials branded on them. That's pretty nasty. So she's looking at some jail time. But the worst part about the whole thing is that alleged sex cult is my band name. So... <laughs> But we have to change that. <laughs> Which sucks because we already changed it. It used to be system of a Down syndrome. <laughs> but someone got offended. I guess we'll just stick to death leprosy. But what else is new? Uh, I heard about this guy who's on the show The Leak, Steve Ranzisi. He was going around for a while before he started his comedy career. And he was telling people that he survived 9 11, that he barely escaped. I don't know if you guys heard, but they just busted him. I guess he didn't survive 9 11. And he was nowhere near it. And he's been using this national tragedy to boost his career as a comedian. That's pretty fucked up, right? As a Holocaust survivor myself, like, I'm pretty <laughs> mad that someone would do that. Yeah, speaking of the Holocaust, I watched Life is Beautiful for the first time. You guys seen that movie? It's just awful. Like, who would have thought a Holocaust movie would be so sad? <laughs> Not me. So, I won't make any more Holocaust jokes, those are really in bad taste. And frankly, I'm getting pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the offensive stuff. I think pedophilia is probably my least favorite Greek god. <laughs> I think necrophilia was pretty bad too, but she only hurt herself, but no one else. I could never relate to that. I could never see myself as a pedophile, just because, like, I don't know, like, I don't even like kids. Uh, <laughs> so, well, that's it my time, and thank you. Anyway.